welcome welcome back to my channel and as you guys read by the title of today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my aloe water it was very requested so i'm just like okay here you guys go so i kind of got this idea from a lot of other naturals who use aloe vera gel inside of their um spray bottles when they're doing their hair but i could never find aloe vera gel in my stores and i didn't really feel like going on amazon and just buying some aloe vera gel so i decided to make my own concoction using aloe plant and made aloe water i'm pretty sure you can use essential oils in this but i don't use essential oils in a lot of my hair stuff i really do not use oils at all so i did not but if you guys want to you guys can so as you guys saw i cut it in the plant into three pieces but i don't usually use the white part just because i never seen anybody else use it so i don't use it so I cut it up into really two pieces this time and I'm cutting off the side to get rid of the spikiness of the plant because I'm going to cut that plant in half or more like I'm going to cut out the clear juicy goodness. That is very essential when getting your aloe water just right. So I'm just cutting off the two pieces, the two pieces of green on the outside. I was kind of struggling here because I didn't want to cut myself. The knife was really sharp. So I'm kind of like struggling a little bit. But as you guys see, all that clear stuff is right there. So you just want to cut that out of the other green part from the bottom. that is exactly what you want to see you don't want to have no green on your clear gel at all or else you're gonna to have to cut that off and here I'm just scraping up the rest of the gel off of the leaf and putting it inside of my blender so now I'm doing the same thing for this side but as you guys can see I do have a lot of green leaf still on the clear part of the gel so I'm just gonna cut that off but I'm warning you guys when you do this please be very careful knife can be really really sharp so you don't want to cut yourself but you do need to get that off of your plant if you want really good water or else that green part will get stuck in your filter. The plant is really slippery. So when you're doing this, please be careful. Don't slice your finger open because I don't need y'all coming to me and blaming me about y'all fingers being cut wide open. Because I told y'all to make sure that you don't cut yourself. So let me tell you some benefits of using aloe in your hair. Aloe deep cleans oily hair and strips extra sebum, which is oils produced on your scalp. So all that oil that you feel on your scalp, that is sebum, and aloe strips, strips all that extra off your scalp. It also strengthens and repairs hair strands because it contains vitamins A, C, and E. And aloe also promotes hair growth and increases blood circulation on your scalp, which is really essential. I know a lot of you guys are feeding to get your hair long and down your back and that is okay but you want to make sure your hair is healthy in the same process and i suggest aloe because it really does help you guys see here i'm just getting all of that green leaf off of the clear part of the gel and you guys see my hand is really wet it is super duper slippery I think I almost cut myself. Now what you guys are going to do is put that in your blender with your other piece of aloe and then you're going to pour water inside, specifically over the water. You want more water than you want aloe. And I guess this is where I messed up in all my other ones because I put more aloe than water and it was terrible, okay? It was really bad. So I just used the water for my spray bottle because why not? And now I'm putting that in my neutral bullet and I'm just blending that together for a few seconds. I think like maybe like almost to 10 seconds. Just making sure that all the aloe chunks are mixed up. And I gotta say, this was my best batch of aloe water. And I really think it is because I put more water than aloe. But there's still some aloe pieces in there. 
So now what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna need a strainer and a cup or a bowl and strain the water because there is a lot of pulp. So you wanna get all that pulp out so it doesn't transfer to your spray bottles. See all that pulp? You guys do not want that. So then you're gonna transfer the water back into your blender or into another cup and you're going to strain it a second time just to make sure that you got all the pulp out because I've had experiences where I had to strain it two, three times to get all the pulp out. So you guys do not want that, which is why I recommend putting more water than aloe. See, no pulp this time. Now I'm closing out my aloe vera leaf because I didn't do that. And usually I keep this water for about a week, but I do refrigerate it because if you don't refrigerate it, it's going to get really nasty in your spray bottle and it's gonna stink and you're not gonna like it. So now I'm just pouring the water into my spray bottle. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And I really hope you guys do try it out because it's amazing. I love it. I swear by it. And if you trust my word, you'll definitely go do it for yourself. So that's all. I hope I see you guys in the next video.